Bobby Bandwagon shows no sign of slowing down. Makers, Warner Brothers, say it has now passed over a billion dollars at the global box office, which means for Greta Gerwig, she's become the first woman to reach the milestone as a solo director. The movie, of course based on the famous plastic doll and starring Margot Robbie and Ryan Gosling, took just 17 days from release to pass the $1 billion mark at the global box office. It really is a case of life in plastic is fantastic for makers Warner Brothers. Indeed, they have already coined the word Barbillion. Now, the Barbie movie is the first in the studio's 100-year history to sell so many tickets so fast. So as we've said, the Barbie movie took 17 days to pass the $1 billion mark at the global box office. The last movie to do that for Warner Brothers was this one, Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2, but that took 19 days back in 2011. Now, there is no doubt that the Barbie movie has been helped by the current battle with the other big film of the moment, Oppenheimer. The whole PR hype around it has been branded Barbenheimer. But for Barbie director Greta Gerwig, she has now made history. She is the first female solo director to be behind a $1 billion movie. Warner Brothers bosses said it was testament to her brilliance, adding that she was literally turning the entire world pink. Now, the Barbie movie is still number one at the US box office and in other countries around the world. It is helping the film industry to continue its bounce back after the COVID pandemic. That's Nikki Schiller there with some of the background. Well, I spoke to Sandro uh, Manetti as well. He's editor-in-chief of the Hollywood International Filmmaker magazine. I asked him whether he was surprised by such a boom. Well, no, because the marketing campaign was one of the best I've ever seen for any product in history. And yes, a plastic doll created back in 1959 has saved the cinema industry. Because when you think about it, the familiar death knell was ringing yet again for movie theatres. It's because the summer 2023 box office had started off with a lot of disappointing films which had performed below expectations and and then came Barbie and blew everything away. It's a Barbie world now. We just live in it. I mean, we are. I mean, I've not seen it yet, Sandro, but I, I, I want to see it. I've been told by many of my peers it's brilliant. I've got to wear pink when I go. And this is the point. It's, it's an event, isn't it? It's not just going to see a film. It's especially an event for the still largely underserved female audience. You know, Sally, you can grab your girl squad and head down to uh, the multiplex, or as you'll be calling it afterwards, your Mojo Dozo Kaja house. <laughs> Mangle that up a bit. But uh, yeah, um, you know, people uh, are drawn in uh, by the marketing campaign. And when they get there, they find a, a, a movie which takes them by surprise because it's not just a musical, it deals with existential questions. It's basically a satire on gender identity. And it's very timely. Uh, and so this isn't just a hype machine. Uh, this is a movie that really gives something people something to think about as well as enjoy. And, and tell us about Greta Gerwig. You know, this is, this is fantastic for her to become the first woman to reach the milestone of a solo director passing a billion dollars at the box office so quickly. Uh, what does this mean for her, in your opinion? Well, it means that she's in a fantastic negotiating position for Barbie 2, if nothing else, because unlike most franchise films, uh, the studio behind this, Warner Brothers, had not signed up its director and co-writer, uh, Greta Gerwig, nor its stars, Margot Robbie or Ryan Gosling, for a sequel, something that's traditionally done with Marvel films, Star Wars films, uh, etc. So she can basically write her own check. She's actually making a Snow White movie next, uh, trying to see if she can do uh, for that uh, traditional figure, uh, what she did for uh, for Barbie. But it really uh, elevates her into the big time. Uh, you mentioned there that she's the first solo female director uh, to have a film go over a billion dollars. Uh, that's because both Frozen and Captain Marvel uh, had female co-directors. But yeah, she's made movie history. Barbie's doing great. It's only three weeks in. Where is it going to end? And that's a very good question. Sandro Manetti there, entertainment uh, correspondent 